how can one use information in financial statements to estimate the intrinsic value of firms? This is a really interesting question because financial statements are among the most, if not the most, important sources of information that are available to investors. This question also presents considerable challenges. This course will help students understand and deal with these challenges. So I'll be covering the first part of the course, financial statement analysis. So, which is to teach students how to use the public available information, especially the financial reports, financial statements, to analyze a firm's past and present performance and forecast the firm's future performance. And the forecast is future cash flows and earnings would then be used as inputs into the valuation models, which will be covered in the second part of the course. Once the students have learned how to extract valuable information from financial statements, we will move into showing students how to transform these key information inputs into a valuation output, putting special emphasis on the valuation of equity securities. Students will be exposed to a wide range of valuation techniques, from discounted future payoffs to valuation techniques using multiples like the price to earnings and the price to book ratio. The course materials cover a lot of interesting real life examples and cases where students are given the tools to identify red flags, spot accounting tricks, and then have the chance to make their own judgments and adjustments to report their accounting numbers. Students will work with financial statements of real companies like Google or Coca-Cola, just to name a few, but also students will be able to see how many of the insights provided during the course are being used by financial analysts at top investment banks when writing their equity research reports. The course is particularly appealing to students who are interested in um, future career in research equity, research analyst, investment banking, private equity, auditing, consulting, and investment management. And it's also relevant for students who are genuinely interested in understanding how accounting information is used in capital markets. It not only provides the technical aspects, but also sheds light on how the judgment inherent in accounting choices matter for valuation. Overall, the course has got something to offer to everybody who is keen in understanding the link between accounting information and equity prices. I've been doing research in accounting for almost two decades, trying to understand how accounting information is used in stock markets. I think I'm very eager to share with students how powerful and useful accounting information can be in understanding um, businesses and making investment decisions.